Good morning. This is Mike Schweitzer. Today I'm going to show you how to usher. And part of ushering is showing up uh, 45 minutes early and getting the bulletins ready. And so you take the insert, fold them, and put them into the actual bulletin. And the date on the back should match up with the date that you're doing the service on. Be sure to be friendly when you greet people for the for the service. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. Here's your bulletin. Thank you. I can go sit down. <laughs> Then during the pandemic, we have people pick up the communion cups with the bread and communion all in one package, and they can pick that up here at the table. We want to make sure we have a pencil and, and, or pen here for guests and encourage them to sign the book if they're guests for the Sunday. have the um, candle, the lighter to light the candles, and we have extra wicks here in the drawer. The, um, what is this called? Rook. With the rook, you have the wick, and if that runs out, then you need to grab the spare in the drawer, put it through the slot, and then you can slide that back down. We always want to count how many people are in attendance and we want to write that down in the little booklet, the date and the number of people. So at the beginning of the service, at uh, the top of the hour, we ring the long rope and we ring that bell anywhere between nine to 12 rings. And with this one, you build up momentum. So you always want to keep one hand on the, on the rope and you get the, if you get too much momentum, the bell can flip, so don't overboard with when you're the bell. Do you want to go ahead and demonstrate? And I'll demonstrate. And then on the last ring, just hold it, and then let it up slowly. Then at the end of the service, at the, after the closing prayer, we take the short rope and we ring the bell three times. And there's no momentum with that. You just pull the rope and it rings right away, like this. to dismiss people during the pandemic we just pe we dismiss pe people from um, as family groups up to the front and we do it fa each family unit family unit during regular um, communion we dismiss people by rows on either side of the row let them go up and we start at the front and we work our way back and then ushers are the last to do communion and then at the end of that one of the ushers will give communion to the pastor. That's all. It's easy. And we always appreciate volunteers. And have fun. I really like ushers. They're so friendly. They make me feel happy when I come to church. Yeah, ushers. <laughs>